Welcome back to the Ed Show. I'm Jake Hewer of the Young Turks. In for Ed Schultz. The Battlegone story tonight. Ken Melman was the campaign manager for George W. Bush's re-election effort in 2004 when the Republican Party ran one of the most anti-gay campaigns in history. They helped to put anti-gay rights measures on ballots in states all across the country. Now, a man at the center of these smear campaigns has come out of the closet and said that he's gay. Melman says it wasn't him. He privately tried to talk the party out of campaigning on that issue. Well, it didn't work, and I don't believe him. A lot of people are talking in sympathetic tones about Melman, and now they say they're concerned about the inner turmoil that he went through. You know what? He wouldn't have had any inner turmoil if he wasn't at the center of the anti-gay party driving an anti-gay agenda. If he was torn up about it, he had a funny way of showing it, because as the chair of the RNC in 2006, they went right back to the anti-gay well again. He now asked people who doubt his sincerity this. If they can't offer support, at least offer understanding. No deal. Next time someone runs a divisive, hate-filled campaign against his own people or any people, they should consider that they will not get understanding. They will get the shaming that they deserve. When it mattered, Ken Melman failed. He hid and he went along with the attacks he knew were hateful. Now that he'd like to go out on dates in public and wants to make a statement after he no longer has any power to affect his party, he acts as if he's coming out and it's brave. I'm not impressed. Next time, if you want understanding, do it when it counts. Apology not accepted.